thank you for joining our Census of Cuba webinar. In the next 20 minutes or so, you will see and learn more about the tropical holiday destination Cuba and also about us as a European DMC operating from Havana, Cuba. We will start with an introduction video to get a little taste of the different sides of Cuba. The spectacular visuals and the typical Cuban sounds of the video show life in the countryside and rural areas of Cuba, but also the colonial cities and, of course, the lively capital Havana, and last but not least, the beautiful beaches and sea life of Cuba. Some of Cuba's greatest treasures summed up for you in just one video. Here we go. Cuba is located in the Caribbean Sea between the Gulf of Mexico and the North Atlantic Ocean. Located 150 kilometers south of Florida, not far north from uh, Jamaica and west from Haiti. The fascinating island is with 110,000 square kilometers, the longest one in the Caribbean. However, don't underestimate its distances. 
It takes nearly two hours by plane from Havana in the west to Santiago de Cuba in the east. Its coastline stretches over 3,700 kilometers and holds over 200 bays and 250 beaches. The long and thin shape of the island makes sure you are never far from the sea. Cuba is home to a little more than 11 million citizens, of which 2.13 million live in the live lively capital, Havana. A little bit about the climate uh, of Cuba. Cuba, of course, is a tropical country with an average temperature rate between 21 and 33 deg uh, degrees Celsius. An average of eight sun hours a day and a high humidity, especially during the rain season in June, July and August. Here are some um, common facts about Cuba. It's important to know that when entering Cuba, passports need to be valid for at least another six months and a tourist card is required. Besides, every traveler needs to have an international travel insurance. As per January 2021, the official currency in Cuba is the Cuban peso, also called the CUP. Recommended, however, is that tourists bring euros or dollars, which are also accepted as a payment method. In most large hotels, only payment by credit card is accepted. However, American credit cards do not work in Cuba. Internet is not as advanced yet as it is in many Western countries. Wi-Fi is available against payment in most hotels, and also roaming works with most SIM cards, but that does come with a high, high price tag. No city in Cuba is the same, and this beautiful island offers a wide range of nature, culture, and historical surprises. Cuba is famous for its culture and, of course, for its people. Friendly, always curious, creative, vital, and with a lot of dreams. Cuba, besides, is a very safe destination, maybe even the safest in all of Latin America. Even at night, when you're walking home with your friends after a night of salsa dancing, you will be fine. Here we go with Havana, uh, the vibral capital city of uh, Cuba, which is definitely where this explanation should start. It is the beating heart of this tropical island. With its UNESCO World Heritage Colonial City Center, the American classic cars and 1950s nostalgia, Hemingway, Mafia and Cabaret, that make you feel like you are truly traveling back in time. The awe-inspiring, eclectic architecture ranging from colonial to Art Nouveau and even Bauhaus. Its museums and its creative and lively culture, theater, dance and art scene, and of course, the vibrant nightlife with salsa, jazz, rumba, mambo, cha-cha, hip-hop, son and reggaeton. This city is one you will never forget. Then we go a little bit more west to Viñales, the Tobacco Valley of Cuba in the western province, Pina de Rio, is a fresh breeze of air compared to Havana. The green, picturesque landscape with its limestone rocks is absolutely astonishing, and the pace of life is the opposite of the lively Havana. Some of the wonderful things to do in Viñales are an adventurous horse ride through the tobacco fields, visiting one of the local tobacco farms, a sunrise hike through the UNESCO Biosphere Vinales Valley, and enjoy the tropical flora and fauna, a boat ride through the Indian cave, or a visit to the impressive prehistorical wall painting, and simply enjoy the laid back lifestyle of this village in the middle of this gorgeous nature and truly come to rest. We continue a little bit more central. Um, Port City Sinfuegos, also known as the Pearl of the South, a city inspired by French, ar French architecture, of which you can find many examples around the main square Parque Mati, including the Teatro Terri, which attracted famous artists and singers like Caruso, Sarah Bernhardt, and Anna Pavlova in the 19th century. And also Santa Clara, Located in the center of Cuba is the city where Che Guevara celebrated his greatest victory and also found his last rest. His remains are being held in the Che Guevara Mausoleum, 
a monument with a large statue of Che that leads many tourists to Santa Clara. It's also a university city and has a wonderful nightlife. Another reason to visit Santa Clara. We stay a bit longer in the central part of uh, Cuba with the city Trinidad, a city with unique colonial architecture declared UNESCO World Heritage. Explore Plaza Mayor surrounded by splendid manors. The Sugar Mill Valley with its hist history about the life of masters and slaves in the 19th century at the Hacienda of the Sugar Barons is Naga. In contrast to Havana, Trinidad has a more located and romantic nightlife, where young and old, locals and tourists come together each night to listen to live music and to join, enjoy a dance or two. Discover the Caribbean sand beaches of Playa Ancon, not far away from the city of Trinidad, and of course the nature reserve park Topes de Collantes in the Sierra Escambray for active outdoor excursions such as hiking, horse riding, bird watching, and of course a refreshing shower under one of the many magnificent waterfalls. All the way east of Cuba is Santiago de Cuba, the most mountainous city of Cuba, all the way at the east of the island. Santiago de Cuba has its own rhythm, where history, music, festivities and hospitality come together. It competes with Havana as being Cuba's number one city and it has an absolute unique identity, embedded in its Afro-Caribbean roots and the revolutionary rebel history. It holds countless, countless of interesting sites such as the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Castillo del Morro, various historical parks and a large cemetery where many famous figures amongst whom Fidel Castro and members of the Bacardi dynasty found their last rest. Many different museums as well. And it is also the heart of the Afro-Cuban Santeria religion. Not to forget, of course, the nightlife at Casa de la Trova, the cradle of the Cuban son, where musicians of the famous Buena Vista Social Club started their career. And there's more in the eastern part of Cuba. Baracoa, a coastal colonial town in the most eastern part of Cuba, where once Columbus landed, reachable via the breathtaking Farola Pass crossing the mountains. A hidden natural paradise, a secret worth exploring. Baracoa's beautiful surroundings with coffee, banana and cacao plantations, rainforest, indigenous Taino sites and Afro-Caribbean heritage will offer you a unique and unforgettable experience. Hiking and bird watching in the Alexander Humboldt National Park, a boat ride along the Yurmuri or Tao River, a tracking tour to the, to the flat top Mount El Yunque and the countless local art and handicrafts galleries in town, just a few of the experiences that await you in Baracoa. And of course, in our beautiful island, we also have plenty of beach destinations, which we cannot forget. Besides the peninsula of Veradero, which was the first and classic beach resort of Cuba, and the natural beaches of Guadalavaca in the east, today the Cayos, small islands on the north coast, are also reachable by car, become more and more attractive and trendy even. Enjoy island feeling and the pristine paradise beaches surrounded by crystal clear waters and beautiful nature at Cayo Santa Maria, Cayo Coco or Cayo Guillermo, where Hemingway was hunting for swordfish and German U-boats. Scuba divers find world-class diving grounds and sunken Spanish galleons around the southern island of Cayo Largo with its spectacular beaches, turtles and iguanas. Or during a sailing adventure with a catamaran at Jardines de la Reina in the Caribbean Sea. So now uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on us as a DMC. Uh, we are a European DMC with a main office in the heart of Havana, uh, close to all important sites and, and hotels as well. 
focusing on a sophisticated upmarket clientele with tailor-made programs for both FITs, luxury travelers, special interest groups, incentive groups, cruise ships, and much more. We profit from more than 16 years of experience in Cuba, a complex but fascinating destination. We create unique programs and experiences for travelers, showing both the nostalgic and the new Cuba. Yes, to introduce the team, um, I should of course start by introducing the faces behind Senses of Cuba. Uh, this is our general manager, Bernd Hermann, our director of sales, Verena Hattinger, and our director of product, Alexander Kweiser. Our general manager, Bernd Hermann, and our product manager, Alexandra, they're both from Germany. And our uh, director of sales, Verena, is originally from Austria. The three of them have over 25 years of combined experience in our beloved Cuba. Knowledge, expertise, and most of all, passion is the fuel behind our team. They actively guide a dynamic team of over 20 Cuban and European employees, all working in our head office located in the prestigious Bacardi building in Havana. Cuban and European roots are represented in our international sales and product team that combine experience and knowledge of the international high-end travel market with their unconditional love for Cuba. Our sales and product team works hard all year round to create unique and tailor-made programs, cooperate with partners from overseas in German, Dutch, English and the Spanish language, and assist each client that arrives here with us in Cuba. Alongside the international direction, sales and product team, a Cuban team of experts is working on reservations, finances, our database and the operations of all of our programs. Their limitless know-how of this complex destination is fundamental for the success of Senses of Cuba. Yes, our products. With a lot of love and passion, we work on a daily basis on our tailor-made programs for both FITs and groups. We work on incentives in which we have a great deal of experience with many well-known organizations from all over the world. We focus on luxury travel. Of course, our special interest tours, which go from bird watching to architectural tours and anything in between. And of course, last but not least, the rental car tours, which we offer throughout the entire island. One of our golden rules when we create our products is that we combine the nostalgic elements of Cuba with elements of the new Cuba. With every single one of our pro programs, we truly try to capture the charms of Cuba. I will guide you through a few of our examples. Starting with the excursion a lo cubano, an insight into the Cuban daily life. One of Cuba's biggest charms, of course, is its people, los cubanos. This excursion shows curious travelers what the real daily life in Cuba is like. Visiting small government-run shops, a school, but also a doctor's office. Enjoy a ride in public transportation and visit a typical solar. Colonial houses that have been divided into countless small homes for large Cuban families, which is what we call in Cuba a solar. But also classic car heaven, of course. A trip to Cuba is just not complete without a ride in one of these colorful classic cars. These American beauties are parked around every corner and give the city a certain flair. Include a stop in one of the local car garages where a Cuban expert has to use all of his creativity to make sure that he keeps these cars running, which is definitely a challenge in Cuba. El Talento Cubano. Cubans are absolutely known for their passion as well as their talent when it comes to music, dance and honestly many other arts. 
It's a true inspiration to many of us worldwide. But besides this passion and talent, it of course takes hard work and discipline to make it to the top. Get to see these beautiful talents work hard and visit a backstage rehearsal of a famous dance company in Havana. Or visit the impressive Fustelandia, which is a mosaic village made by artist Jose Fuster, who is also named as the Gaudi of the Caribbean. Enjoy meeting Cuban artists in their galleries and experience a private living room concert by one of Cuba's most famous jazz musicians. Havana Heights. This excursion literally takes you to a higher level. Explore Havana in a different way, from high up, by visiting different famous or hidden and little known lookouts and viewpoints. This tour absolutely includes many fun surprises. And then as the last example, tobacco time. There couldn't be a bigger contrast to the lively hustle and bustle of Havana than the tranquil environment of the famous Vinales Valley, a masterpiece of modern nature with its unmistakable limestone rocks, the so-called mojotes. That's where the best tobacco in the world grows. What better way to learn about the secrets of tobacco growing than during a visit of a local veguero, also a tobacco farmer. And while visiting a tobacco factory, watch skillful hands producing, how else could it be, the best cigars in the world, the actual real Habanos. And now, we will watch a short video that sums up our highlight products of Senses of Cuba. Enjoy. Thank you very much uh, for joining this webinar. It was a pleasure to explain you more about our beautiful destination Cuba and about us as a DMC. Please find us and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and feel free to contact us at all times on info at censusofcuba.com. Hope to see you in Cuba.